Transparency and answers from the Titusville Police Department. For the first time since December, the department released body camera video showing a 40-year-old man being killed by an officer, the police chief calling the shooting an accident. Last week, the victim's mom, alongside civil rights attorney Ben Crump, called for justice and asked the police department to release that video. And tonight, the officer is facing a manslaughter charge. News 6's Jim Sparvero has the new developments in this case. Hey, he's running, he's running. The sounds of a taser and then the gunshot, Titusville police say, killed James Lowry. At no time should you ever have your firearm and your taser out at the same time. Chief John Lau says he believes former officer Josh Payne accidentally shot Lowry after the 40-year-old reached toward the officer and continued running away from him, jumping a fence. Shot fired! Shot fired! Before that deadly shot, the chief says Payne did follow department policy by engaging Lowry because he matched the description of a domestic violence suspect police were looking for that night in December. <laughs> chief Lau says moments earlier, two other people police questioned, who like Lowry also were not involved, cooperated and were released. When you're in a dark area, someone's reaching in their pockets and they're not following lawful orders, it is extremely, extremely heightened, dangerous situation. In Lowry's pockets, police say he had drugs, including enough fentanyl to carry a 25-year prison sentence. It's unacceptable. <laughs> when the officer was arrested, the attorneys for the Lowry family said Payne targeted and stalked Lowry. The police chief telling us the shooting was unjustified, but there was no stalking. An accidental shooting with tragic results. All we do is keep training and keep training and, and to try to get better. The state attorney's office tells us Payne is scheduled to be arraigned on his manslaughter charge July 7th. We'll continue following this case then. In Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.